you can see, I have longer nails on the left hand than I have on the right hand. So this is because the length of the nails, uh, you become immediately all the school if you have right hand nails long. Also check the thumb is short. Thumb, short nail. And also the others, because we need to have this point to hit the string and have combination of flesh and nail. This is in right hand. Therefore, don't forget that the, the nail should be sanded in the same shape that your finger has. So, for instance, this is rounded finger, then rounded shape, not pointed like this triangle shape, and then the, the shape of the finger is round. That, that's wrong. So, this is what Paco said at least. Right? passing you the tip on and then the thing is that here if you observe uh, we have m more flesh actually than nail if the nails are too long then it come uh, it will come very skinny sound which is not uh, Paco de Lucia's way to, to 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 hit the string with all the harmonics there etc so therefore in the left hand also Careful because if this generally people tend to to sand it off too much, and then if these nails are too short, then you cannot do properly ligado and all that stuff, hammer on pull off nuances and which are basis of our interpretation in flamenco. Very important resource is the ligado, and then therefore very short nail is not advisable so here in fact if you see i have longer here than here longer left than right if we have this too long then immediately we become all the school sabikas still if you watch any video of sabikas you will see that the thumb for instance look at this, this to have more and more control and of course this should be sounded less here in the other part and more on the on the inner part. That For that I will post a specific video, so the description of this video, so that you can see the thing in detail. But here is just to say that these two hands have to be matching and here we do have to have some nail length to be able to, to pull off properly. While in this hand, if we have too long, then we will not be able to, to hit the string from this point, which I mark it there, that will be the, the right place of attack. And if this is too long, then posture will be modified because if, if it is long, then I cannot have close this and I have to have fallen posture, etc. For that, we need to, to watch the video about the uh, 18 things to remember to practice the scale thing about posture because posture depends on some, also on the, on the length of the nail now if we play only uh, nail sound then this is a sound but if we do other thing is this this here this is with flesh and nail and this is only nail that, that becomes thinner sound, so this here should not be surpassing. Also, when you have the, the angle to play like that, then you see flesh comes first, then the nail. Very important thing. And left hand, don't don't leave this too short. That's it. That's advice. Okay, thank you, and I see you next time. <laughs> Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucí. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el, en el que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo creo que son muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música. Y luego que descubrí ahí el, la improvisación, 
la improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería cada músico del estilo que sea del clásico, del flamenco de cualquier otra música debería debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando de qué armonías están en cada momento ¿no?